Now, from what I kind of teased out of that, it's, you know, you, you got there from relationships, just how, you know, pretty much everything else happens. You know, you, you, you know people and you get to a point where people can put you in place, but you don't know what place is going to be. But if you have those relationships, they kind of manifest. Mm -hmm. And with you being in media, you understand that, like, when you get to a certain level, that things just don't happen by accident. Like, everything is... No, it's about connections. It's about relationships. It's about accountability. And it's really about how people view you. If you're difficult, like, there's some people who are super talented, super popular, millions of followers on social media, all these likes and comments and views, and they don't have no work. It's not because they don't have a manager or an agent. It's because they were difficult on set or they weren't nice to the people. Like I would tell people, you got to be nice to everybody, not just your cast members, but the directors, the producers, the PAs, the people that pick us up in the vans and the SUVs, people that run and get us our food and our drinks when we need it, the makeup people, the hair people, the wardrobe, like the people that does our payroll and our check. Like, you know, every, you have to be nice to everybody or at least be respectful, be workable, be trainable. And I tell people that all the time because I see people that I feel like should be so far ahead or I feel like, you know, why didn't this person get that gig or that person was perfect for that. But then I think about what I know about them personally as well, what I've heard. And it makes a lot of sense because again, there's probably some people you see and you're like, well, I haven't seen that person do this and that. And I never see that person linking up with these people anymore. And I never see that person at these type of events. Well, that's for a reason. You know, and with me, you never know where I'm going to pop up. I might be at the Oscars. I might be at the Emmys. I might be at the Grammys. I might be at the BET Awards. I might be sitting at Diddy's house. You never know. Like, it's just a matter of the, it's how you surround yourself and the energy that you put out. Because I know I'm an energy person and I read energy very well as an Aries. And I don't like it. I ain't going to deal with you. I don't care where you're going, what the hookup is. Who we gonna be with? Who, with the, where the photograph may land? I don't care. At the end of the day, when you get a certain age, it's about energy. Like, do I really want to leave a house, take a shower, get dressed, get done up to be around these certain people? You know what I'm saying? Or do I want to sit on the couch and be with my dog? <laughs> right. <laughs> I totally understand what you're saying. And and just something as simple as before we got on the air, we you said we had sent you a t-shirt and a hat. Four yeah. years ago, before COVID, yeah. and it's we would have right, and, and and neither one of us would have known that we'll be here four years later. Later, 